She's the athlete. She's got like a husband who's a high school football coach up there in Fairfield. She's big on our fitness, indeed. Are you, are, you, good stuff. You're, are you an athlete? I don't know. No, no, no. You just like to have a good time and be the most accurate forecaster, right? Yeah, I'm a nerd. Okay, okay well, well, you, well, science nerds. <laughs> All right, so tell us what we got coming up this weekend. Uh, a taste of fall. Have you been outside this evening? I have, a dinner time, and it felt great. Temperatures are in the 60s now. We're already dropping into the 50s in some areas. If you ask me, it's a little cool for August. Here's a look outside tonight, and you can see the last of those thunderstorms as they head across West Virginia into Virginia tonight. That is the cold front that came through here around lunchtime today and helped to drop temperatures, switch those winds around to the west, and eventually bring in a hint of fall in the air tonight. I've had a couple of folks say it actually feels more like Halloween. Hard to believe it's early August with the chill that's in the air tonight. It's going to set us up for a perfect Saturday, though. I mean, couldn't ask for better weather in early August. Unfortunately, it's not going to last all weekend because rain's going to slide in here Sunday afternoon and evening. So here's a live look over my shoulder right now. You can't see it from this vantage point, but skies are slowly beginning to clear. And as those clouds thin and winds relax, our temperatures are really going to drop overnight. All right, we're already down to 62 right now with a west wind at the moment. Temperatures around the area generally in the mid 60s east of town where the clouds are still a little more steady and more present as you head west into parts of southeast Indiana. Temperatures, look at this, Batesville already down to 57 tonight. It's hard to believe that here we are in the first few days of the month of August. We're talking about it's already 57 and it's just a little bit after 11 o'clock at night. Keep in mind this time of the year, our average low, what would be normal? about 64 and that's in the morning. So we're going to keep falling overnight and temperatures by morning will drop close to 50 for a good number of us about mid 50s here in the metro area. So unseasonably cool indeed for this time of the year, but that will leave us off for a fantastic Saturday. Lots of sunshine highs tomorrow going to come up only in the middle to upper 70s. So here comes the clouds tonight. You can see the back edge of the cloud cover beginning to clear its way in the southeast Indiana. Now as that happens, temperatures again will fall pretty steady overnight, pretty steadily overnight. High pressure will move in here for tomorrow. Provide us with lots of sunshine. Unfortunately, it's going to keep traveling east on Sunday and set us up for wet weather back in the picture. Great weather, though, for soccer or the Reds game this weekend with the Cardinals. Temperatures will be in the 70s for kickoff up there at Nippert Stadium as FC Cincinnati takes, or, takes on Orlando. So here's a look at Futurecast. Quiet through the night. Not much to really show you here. There may be a few clouds during the day on Saturday, and then as we get into Saturday night, we'll see some cloud cover beginning to increase, and this is probably going to be the biggest sign of what's to come. While we'll start with some sun on Sunday, I think we cloud up pretty quick, and eventually by Sunday afternoon and evening, I actually think this is a little slow. I think the rain's going to get in here a little bit faster. The rain may arrive as early as dark or even a few hours before Sunday afternoon and evening. So for tonight, enjoy this unseasonably cool weather. The AC gets a break 55 for an overnight low. And then for tomorrow, lots of sunshine. Perfect. We're talking about 79 for an afternoon high. Here's a look at your day planner. Starting out the morning in the upper 50s, a little bit of a cool start up to 72 by lunchtime and then into the mid 70s as we work our way through the second half of the day. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Not quite as cool tomorrow night. We'll only drop down to around 60. Here comes the rain late on Sunday. Some of that will linger over into Monday, but I think more importantly are these temperatures here. No temperatures above average for this time of the year. And Mike, I keep saying this. We've only had three 90 degree days. And how often can you say in a seven day in August? The middle of the summer, no 90s, and every single temperature is at or below normal. Yeah, looking like football season already, Kevin. Thank you. Hey, the world's.